Quante lingue parlo? Uh, sono madrelingua italiana, parlo l'inglese, anglais, un petit peu de spagnol, Spanish, my mother language, e il francese che è il mio idioma materno, l'espagnol, un petit peu d'italien, perché è quello che ho studiato a l'école. My mia lingua native language è English. English, Italian uh, and German. El inglés y el alemán. And a bit of French. I've been learning German for four years, so I, I guess I can speak German. Y hablo también ruso y, y portugués. Alors, um, je pense pas être bilingue. Me consideraba bilingüe en, en, en un momento. I, I wish I was. Uh, and I would hope, I hope to eventually be bilingual. No, I speak a lot, but I'm not bilingual, <laughs> unfortunately. Maybe in the future I could consider myself as bilingual, but then I, I would need someone to tell me, well, you're bilingual. I think that in a moment I came to a point that there was no difference between speaking French or speaking Spanish, and I didn't any kind of effort. I mean, I don't know if it's because you have a really cool accent or if you are bilingual because you can switch super easily which uh, in my everyday life I do donc euh, je le mets des mots euh, un petit peu euh, français euh, allemand euh, japonais et ça c'est bilingual peut-être oui mais peut-être non aussi parce que si je les fais euh, devant quelqu'un qui est français et pas seulement français ça ne marche pas like there are situations where I know Um, or I have to really speak around a topic, or I just can't really talk about it at all because I get I lose the language. Um, I mean that happens in English too. En este caso yo no soy bilingüe de, de nacimiento, no tengo, no es un idioma que, que aprende, o sea, que, que hable desde siempre, lo aprendí de, de, de adulto. Je peux m'exprimer beaucoup, uh, des fois mieux en anglais qu'en français. I don't know if this is the essence of being bilingual. I mean. Could be, I, I have no idea. Because um, what does it mean really to be bilingual? Essere bilingue significa crescere, venire a contatto, essere sottoposte a due lingue diverse nel, nel momento nel quale il bambino passa attraverso le fasi di apprendimento linguistico. For me, like, the idea of bilingualism is also like, intrinsically tied to the idea of fluency. Not translate in your head and maybe be able to ask for anything you need in a huge supermarket. Tal vez hay diferentes casos de, de, de bilingüismo. Accent is pretty important. I guess you can pretend a bit better to be bilingual if you have a good uh, foreign accent. I think it's certainly the first um, way that people would say that someone's not bilingual. A native speaker can have already so many different ones. So why would your accent be one criteria to, I don't know. You know, if I maybe have a southern accent from the United States, does that mean that my language is any less? Well, it's the same thing. I think if you are um, coming from another country, yes, you might have an accent. That doesn't mean that you can't be fluent in the language or bilingual in the language. It comes down to the idea of whether or not you think of bilingualism and, and related to that fluency as being um, the ability to sort of scan as native or the ability to like fluidly uh, communicate your ideas. I think we use, we use the word bilingual maybe a little bit too easily. So you've lived in a country but one of your parents is from another language but you've never lived there. So you obviously don't have all the, um, all the expressions, all the words. If I could really truly have the feeling that I was bilingual at some point in my life, hopefully in the next few years, who knows. Um, that would be extremely satisfying for me, this ability to sort of seamlessly kind of switch between both. That's the hope and the challenge. <laughs>